The Mr. Excel podcast is brought to you by Easy Excel. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. First of all, I want to thank everyone for your patience. I know the podcasts have been few and far between. We're down to the final five weeks here where I have to finish five books about Excel 2010. Two books are done. Thought I'd uh, stop in the office and record some more podcasts. So, not going to be getting five a week. Uh, I talked to Mike Gervin. We're going to restart the Dueling Excel podcast again after February. 10th. So watch for those. I'll still try and get you a few uh, podcasts each week, though. And this question came in from Trinidad, the country of Trinidad. I did a seminar there a few years ago. Going to be going back in June. Hey, convince your boss that you should go to an Excel seminar in Trinidad. Great place to be. Uh, someone was trying to use count if, but count if for sort of a, a variable range over here. So the formula that they uh, were trying was count if, uh, look at all these cells and see if it's greater than ampersand a2 all in uh, quotes okay well that is so close I said you almost had it what we have to do is we have to concatenate two things we have to take the uh, the well not greater than the less than sign and put that in quotes just that and then say ampersand a2 and get rid of that quote uh, then what happens is when Excel evaluates that formula they take the number in a2 and they concatenate it together with the uh, less than sign and then it works so there we have seven months that were under this rate over here in column A and copy it down and you see that that works. Let's just take a quick look at evaluate formula. I'll choose this top one, evaluate formula. See the very first thing that happens is A2 gets evaluated. That's 0.45 and then smashes that whole thing together and that's how we get the criteria range. So there you go. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.